do you spend a lot of time trying to coordinate calendars to arrange a meeting? Then this is a video for you. I want to share with you one of my productivity hacks that I've been using for years that helps save me time when I'm arranging a meeting. In Outlook, it's a feature called Scheduling Poll. This feature allows us to create and send a poll in an email to the people we want to schedule the meeting with. We select the dates and times, they then reply to that poll. When results come in, that meeting is automatically scheduled for us. So let's take a look at how that's done. For the purpose of this video, I'm using Outlook Online. You can follow the same steps in the desktop version of Outlook as long as you've got the most recent version installed. First thing you need is an email. That could be a reply to an existing email or it could be a new draft as you can see on the screen now. Along the top we've got our ribbon and one of the options you should see is scheduling poll. Once we select that we then get our options. We can then start with the time zone, how long we want the meeting to be. You can see the different times here on the screen. So let's make this a 45 minute call. Then we start with the date. So you want to give a selection of dates. Let's start in May. And we can see the dates and times that are available here. We can change that sort by filter by time. This one show me the availability. So show me the two times I'm available on that particular day. As you can see here, the other times show me when I'm not available. We can expand that to see everyone else's availability. So we can see that they're all available at that time as well. This obviously only works if you're inside the same company together. If they're external to your organization, you won't see that visibility. So we can choose some times from the list. Let's go to another date. And again, we can see the times here. So let's select a handful of times here. Let's choose another date. You keep doing that for as many date options as you want. If I click on next now, this then gives me a summary of the dates that I've selected. I don't want to run a meeting at 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime, so I'm going to remove that one there by using the bin. Once I'm happy with those dates and times, I can then go through and update anything else I need to. So we could enter a location, we could toggle on and off whether it's a Teams meeting or not. And then there's some settings we can manage here as well. If you did need to go back, you can click on the back arrow. Otherwise, if you're happy to continue, we click on the create poll. And it inserts that into your email message. Finish off your email as you usually would. I like to add a little comment in there about that the user needs to go through now and reply or click on the vote button to help schedule that meeting. If you want to see what the end user will see, the, the people at the other end, we can click on the button there. And this is what everyone's going to see once they click on that vote option. They can choose their preferred time or they can select yes or no. As the owner of this, we can also force the meeting to schedule. So let's say we didn't need a response from Patty but everyone else had clicked yes or their preferred time for 3.30 on Monday, we could schedule that meeting that way. You can also go in here and update your, your poll and add additional people in there where required. And there you go. Just another way to help you save some time. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I spent a lot of time in the past having to go backwards and forwards asking people for meeting times that they're available, this saves me a lot of time and I hope it saves you time too. Thanks for watching.